Well, the cracking little escort we've got here, guys. A bit of a love of the square lamps. Um, and I was thinking, well, where do you go and how do you start the video, really, rather than the usual? And I suppose I've just been looking around some of the finer points on the car, and I think the best way of starting the video is by saying that this, this had an RS2000 badge on the boot, it would be a £50,000 car. So I suppose you've got to work backwards from there, haven't you? Because um, but it's a nice little car. It's one of those you spend... It initially came in and I thought, only a few hours ago, and I thought, yes, okay, looks a nice car. Yeah, not going to get overexcited about it, but yes, right. And then I've just had 15, 20 minutes looking around it and taking that large batch of photographs. And it's one of those cars that the more you look around it, you tend to appreciate it more and you think, that's good. God, their seals are good, seats are nice, dash is lovely, no wires hanging down, uh, engine compartment's nice, boot floor's good, seals are good, you know, and you start looking around it and, and you think, oh yeah, it's not bad at this. Nah, nice little car. So, yeah, I did put the keys back in it. Showing about 51 thou on there, but you know where we are with mileages. I mean, you could almost clock these things going down the street, couldn't you? So we can't start guaranteeing them, but... Yeah, just nice bits. I haven't even, even noticed that before. You know, still got a couple of period stickers in there. You know, the dash is dead straight and nice. You know, there's nothing dangling down, which makes a pleasant change. All around here is all nice. You know, this panel hasn't faded or hasn't been rubbed off with fingernails or whatever it might be. And the fan works, which is an extra bonus. You know, it's everything. They didn't fit particularly well from the factory, but it, everything sort of fits in nice. And like down here, normally speaking, the like the cardboard type shelf and cover there has normally been got, got at and it thrown, damaged, broken, whatever. It's not. Pedals are all nice. Centre console's nice. Seats are lovely. Headlining's good. No, 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 nothing wrong with that at all. Headlining's really good. You know, just, just nice. And then door shuts are all proper. Door cards are nice. Door skins are good. But then I, I opened the door just now. I've done the outside shots <clears throat> and then I open the, these two doors to start doing the inside shots and obviously straight away spotted the plugs and thought ah that's why she's kept so well it's obviously had the side bar treatment and then you start looking around and there's little plugs in the doors little plugs in the seals obviously loads of plugs on the inner wheel arch there it's done its job guys it has done its job. I mean, look how straight them shuts in that are. And even down to the, the little rubbers still in there, you know, daft things like that, that you, you don't attach a lot of importance to until a res restoration or a restored car comes along without them. And you're thinking, yeah, something's not quite right there. Something's missing. Of course, it's like the little rubbers, isn't it? You know, just little, little bits that are still there. They haven't been put there. They're still there. You know, little things like that, that, um, look at the skins on there, you know, that just make all the little differences, you know, and, and half of it is subconsciously, you know, certainly I have to speak for myself and I think all of us down here, you look at so many that are, you're making all these decisions subconsciously, you know, and even down to the little studs in the back that hold the shelf that are normally missing and yeah, just little things like that. In the boot, nice, just shouts, straight and genuine someone's obviously put a big pair of speakers in which fair dues okay that hasn't really detracted from the car but look all the floors good inside the boot lid is all good still got some main agent dealer uh, markings on the number plates and rear window sticker ah there you go that's your side bar sticker and the same down this side really good on the shuts and the door skins Zybart plugs as well, obviously. Seats mint. In fact, it wouldn't do 60 grand if it was an RS2000, uh, 50 grand. It would do 60 grand if it was an RS2000. There's one over there in that far corner. You can maybe just see the red roof right at the top there over there. That one just sold for 52, 3, 4,000, I think, at the weekend. We had another one, a yellow one, if you recall, that sold eight weeks ago. Again, in excess of 50, um, which, makes these a good buy doesn't it let's face it oh, I don't know if make him a good buy but look even down to the bubble there look all good real nice underneath there just started that from cold as well guys and that means something in it which is sticking over there nicely still got the VIN plate stamped in your strut top 
just all these little bits and pieces it just all comes together to make a car so there we have it so it's in nice and early i've been around i found myself it's even still got the um leftover stickers that on the tires and things so they're obviously new uh, i found myself earlier on <laughs> I put a little bit of a cloth over a, mag over, over a magnet and I thought, ah, these must be filled. And I've, I've gone round the seals and I've gone round the arches and it's all boom, 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 boom. It's all pulling on. So um, I've done the magnet test for you, so don't bother bringing the magnet down. Um, I did giggle to myself, really. I thought if I saw someone doing that, I think, what a prat. But uh, there you are. So yeah, right level little car. Right level little car. It's in, in good time. We've still got four weeks to the next auction down at Pickering. So you've got a real big window to come down and have a look. And please do so and see what you think yourself.